This right here is the Techno Power 3 and the highlight feature of this smartphone is the 7000 mAh battery that it's packing. This power bank, I mean smartphone, has the reverse charging feature that allows you to charge other smartphones and accessories at 10 watts. Now guys, is this power bank with a screen worth buying? How long does the battery last? Well, stick around to find out. Opening the box, the first thing you're going to see is the smartphone. It comes in blue, silver and black. Now guys, it's important to note that only the blue version has the LED light effect that the rare, the silver and black versions don't have that unfortunately. It comes with a warranty card, user manual, TPU case, SIM ejector tool, earphones, a USB Type-C cable and a 33 watts fast charger. Now another thing to note is the Techno Power 3 is capable of charging at 25 watts so it can't fully utilize the 33 watts fast charger that it comes with. For the charging time though, 0 to 100% took 2 hours 4 minutes with the smartphone turned off and that's fast considering the size of the battery. For the build quality, the Techno Power 3 has a plastic rear, plastic frame and the screen doesn't have cunning Gorilla Glass protection. For the weight, this smartphone weighs in at 229 grams which is manageable. I mean it's not as heavy as the iPhone 13 Pro Max and to be honest that's a good thing. Now for the IP rating, it doesn't have one so please do not dip this smartphone except you're rich enough to buy another one. Please guys do not try this at home, it's not going to survive. Now moving to the external features, on the left side the Techno Power 3 comes with a dual 4G SIM and memory card tray, at the top it has a speaker, this smartphone has dual stereo speakers, the second speaker is at the bottom. For the sound quality, it's actually alright. Back to the bottom, it has a 3.5mm audio jack, a mic and a USB Type-C port. Now moving to the right side, you will find the volume and power buttons. The power button also serves as the fingerprint scanner, the unlocking speed is instant but as you can see, the animation slows it down a bit. This smartphone can also be unlocked using the less secured face unlock feature, it's fast and again, the animation slows it down. Now moving to the rear, it has three cameras cameras, a 50 megapixel main camera, a 2 megapixel depth camera and a QVGA camera. What that means is only one camera is usable. Switching to the front, it has an 8 megapixel selfie camera and LED flashlights. Now for the display, the Techno Power 3 comes with a 6.9 inch 1080p IPS LCD panel. It has a resolution of 1080 by 2460 pixels. For the refresh rate, you can set it at 90 hz for smoother animation or at 60 hz if you want to save some battery. If you ask me, just set it at 90 and leave it there. Looking at the 6.9 inch display, the bezels don't look bad, watching content on this huge display is a massive, the stereo speakers also makes consuming media on this smartphone very captivating. If you're not used to big smartphones, you might struggle with this smartphone because of the size but other than that, you're going to enjoy using this smartphone to watch YouTube and Netflix. Now powering the Techno Power 3 is the MediaTek Helio G88 processor. It's a 12 nanometer chipset that offers sustained performance and fast upload time. For the Antutu score, the Techno Power 3 scored 258k which is just a bit faster than the MediaTek Helio G85 processor. Now moving on to Geekbench, the Techno Power 3 has a single core score of 367 and a multi-core score of 1292. For the RAM, it comes with 6GB of RAM and with memory extension, you can expand the RAM to 11GB of RAM. Now opening applications, switching between applications, this smartphone is fast, you're not going to experience any hiccups. The iOS version 8.6 skin running on Android 12 on this smartphone is stable, it is isn't going to crash on you. But one downside with this smartphone and the majority of other techno smartphones is the ads and notifications you get from apps like Phoenix Browser, Scooper News, I mean it gets overbearing sometimes. Fortunately, you can uninstall these apps and that solves the problem. For gaming, the Techno Power 3 has an app called GameSpace and with it you can reject incoming calls and focus on your game, you can optimize the game graphics and my best feature is called Magic Buttons and it allows you to remap the volume up and down buttons to any action you want. Now for the GPU, the Techno Power 3 comes with the Mali G52 GPU and for PUBG, it played the game at HD graphics and high frame rates. Honestly, the gameplay was decent and with the stereo speakers and big display, you're going to enjoy playing games with this power bank of a smartphone. Now moving on to Call of Duty, it played the game at medium graphics and high frame rates. The gameplay was alright, it didn't overheat or slow down. Again, the dual stereo speakers also helped in making the gameplay enjoyable. For Genshin Impact, it played the game at the lowest graphics settings and the gameplay was alright as well. And now let's talk about the cameras. The front facing camera of the Techno Power 3 is an 8 megapixel shooter and for indoor shots, it looks a bit out of focus. The photos don't appear to be sharp but the colors are alright. Here's a picture using the front facing flash and as you can see, the picture isn't sharp and it appears to be a little bit blurred. Moving outdoors, things are looking much better, it looks sharper, the colors look good, portrait shots looks nice and the separation is on point. Outdoors is where the front facing camera shines as you can see. HDR shot also looks good and guys, if you're outdoors and you want to take good looking pictures, 
just remember to turn on high dynamic range. What's up guys, so here's a video from the front facing camera of the Techno Pover 3. It has an 8 megapixel front facing camera and what do you guys think about the video quality and the audio quality coming out from the camera of the smartphone? Uh, it can shoot in 2K, 30 frames per second, that's the highest resolution. And what do you guys think about the video and audio quality that the Techno Pover 3 is producing using the 8 megapixel front facing camera? So what do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think about the quality of the audio and video in the comment section below. How is it handling dynamic range? Well, not that great, but it's an 8 megapixel front facing camera. That's to be expected. It also has this eye tracking feature, as you can see. And uh, yeah, so what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, moving to the rear cameras, it has a 50 megapixel main shooter, a 2 megapixel depth camera, and a QVGA camera. The 50 megapixel camera takes good pictures. Check out the colors. It's able to capture the details of the cloud and this building. Portrait shots looks good. The 50 megapixel camera is truly impressive. All right, so the footage you're looking at is from the Techno Pover 3. I'm using the rear camera, the 50 megapixel rear camera, to capture this video. What do you guys think about the video quality and the audio quality coming up from the rear camera of the smartphone? I uh, shoot it in 2K, 30 frames per second, and yeah. What do you guys think about the dynamic range? I think it's handling it all right, you know? So what do you guys think about the video quality and the audio quality come out from the rear camera of the smartphone? It doesn't have video stabilization, so it's a smartphone that you have to like hold properly and not run to use if you want uh, good enough footage. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Now for the battery, like I said earlier, this smartphone comes with a 7,000 mAh battery inside it and I did a battery drain test to see just how long the battery would last. And guess what, it lasted for over 9 hours under sustained load, which is impressive. You can check out my video where I compared the battery of the Techno Pover 3 with the iPhone 13 Pro Max in the description of this video. And for the charging time with the 33 watts fast charger that it comes with, it took this smartphone 2 hours 4 minutes to charge from 0 to 100%. Now for the price, I bought this smartphone 115,000 Naira or $161 and with this smartphone you get a very impressive battery life. One of the best out there. It also has a big display with stereo speakers. The performance is decent for the price. The front camera won't blow you away but the 50 megapixel main camera is really good. So guys if you want a smartphone with excellent battery life, decent performance, big display, dual stereo speakers, this is it. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys with more content like this. Valor Reviews signing out.